Yeah. Hey Dan, we're recording. Hello cool. to Richard. You are rich. What would we call battle for you, mate? And playing using a game called Tabletop Simulator. Turn one, is it Dan? Uh yes, turn one. Dan's taken my turn. Field of the Bloodthirster. Uh, the Blood Warriors. My blood alt is there. Priests down here. Dan's playing Sylvanef, is it? Sylvanef? Yes. Going off on Blade Worms, Tree Revenants. Yeah. Not sure how long I can record for. We'll see what the file size is like for my. Yeah, let's carry on anyway, mate. If you try not to get distracted too much by the video. Okay, right, let's do this. So, first things first, I'm going to start with the Kunafi Hunters. Yep. They have, how many attacks each do they have? They have three attacks each, four for the champion, ten, ten attack. Uh, to hit three, to wound three. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six hits at hits. minus three rend. Minus three rend. I think you've just get it is um his armor because he's four four save. But minus three that'll be yeah, he's got it gets no save for that, so it's just his so um, it's D six thingy. Yeah. I don't think you get ward space for that. Yeah, so you need to roll one, two, three, four, five, six. What? Five ups to get two took three wounds. So they actually do two damage each. So you two. you negated two, you say? Yeah. So you did you took That's six four wounds. Them, so eight. Did they do th two damage each? Yeah, and there was six of them, and you only. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you take eight damage. Why have I only got five dice here? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Did I you only roll five dice? Roll well, an extra one. No, I mean, like, these are what I rolled to escape some. I, 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 yeah, I, but I, 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 I have five I, dice yeah, to roll. Just roll an extra dice and then it, it, it works out. So you needed to roll six. No, I only needed to roll five, is my argument. Please. Yeah, but you didn't because I've got six dice over here, all three plus. Yeah, but I saved them with my thing, I saved them. These are the ones that I saved. Oh shit! Yeah, you I saved see. two, and you've only rolled five dice. So okay. you need to roll an extra dice. There you go. Okay, there you go. So now you you saved three. So you take. Oh, I see now. Yeah. So you take six wounds. Good. Okay. All right, we get there. Down to eight. Right. Yeah. Da -da -da. And get there. <laughs> so what happens now? Does my revenants fight before your bloodthirster fights back, or does your bloodthirster fight back both times? Um. So I've just hit you with the warriors, the hunters. Does your bloodthirster get to fight back now, or does my revenants that also charge get to attack first? I would say he gets to fight back first. Okay. For each encounter, that's the way I do it. All right, fair enough. So the the way the way the old game used to play was if you charged, yeah. he only got to fight back once, so he got to pick which unit he fought back against. Oh, it might be that. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to fight back against them both. Uh -huh. you know. Which way do you want to do it? Because it will apply to you as well. Well, whichever way you've normally been doing it. I think we've just been doing it as though you fight back every... No, your way actually sounds like it makes more sense. Everything that hits it, it gets to hit it back. That'd be a bit OP, will not it? Yeah. Makes no sense. Okay. Yeah. Should we just make a house rule and say we'll do it your way? Because that makes more sense to me for now. Yeah. Okay. No worries. So, do you want to hit back against the hunters? Well. Or do you want to wait for the tree runners to hit you? <laughs> I want to wait for the other guys to hit me. Okay. And then we'll so... do the attack back thing. Because you've done the charge, aren't you? These have all charged. Yeah. So... These have all charged. Yeah. And then you can decide which unit to hit back. Because they wouldn't be able to hit back the unit that hasn't touched it. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Heading it up. So, tree revenants. <laughs> Alliance, pretty. 
<laughs> Talking to Rich again. With his list. Uh, <laughs> so they get uh, da, da, da. two attacks each, plus one for the champion. So that's two, four, ten, eleven. Pretty models. Dan's actually got a 3D printer and he can print these off. Four plus to hit. Nice, so Ola. And then three plus to wound. Works terrible in, uh, wound. Works in virtual reality, this as well, by the way. Three. You need to do three saves. Any rent? Uh, minus one ren. Fives. Saving at five up. Save them all. Way. Way. Good roll. Good job. In that case, it is. um. Need to attack back? To, need to attack back. Right, so it's. Who were the ones that hit me the first time that nearly like one shot me? The Chrono <laughs> Hunters. Yeah, they're going for those. <laughs> um, we're going with um, four ups to hit, five attacks. How many wounds have I got? Five each. How many wounds have I got? I got my stats changed. Yeah, I got. Oh, okay. You've got. You've taken eight. six wounds. So you're eight actually left. down to the next tier now. So it changes things a little. Still five attacks. Oh, you've actually not, he actually gets weaker as you hurt him. It does same at the moment, but anyway, I'll get on with this. Uh, we got four ups on these. Okay. Three to save. Oh, sorry. Three to save. Three to save. Any rend? Uh, rend minus two. Okay, so I need five to I save. got a well to wound actually, mate. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you both to wound first. I always skip the. Uh, if there's any sixes here, I need to pay attention. There is one six. That's my outrageous carnage proct. Um, so the ball hit at two plus, but one is an outrageous carnage. So we'll do the outrageous carnage. Read this. Okay. Right. So we'll do this. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's fine. So you've basically like it is three to save at minus two, on three to save at minus three, three to save at minus two. Then the damage is quite high as well. Not one damage. It's so I failed to save any of them. Failed to save any. So it is three d three plus three. Do you want to roll it or don't? You roll it. Uh, it would be three d three plus nine. So do two d three plus three attack per attack. 3d3 plus 9. These are d3s. Yeah, so what does the range of carnage do? Do that after. 1, 1, and 3. Alright, so 9 plus 5 you just did. Want 9 plus 5? 9 plus 5, okay. That's <laughs> 14. 14. Okay. The outrageous carnage on yeah. one dice. Um, It's a 6. It causes a number of mortal wounds. Each enemy within 8 inch of my guy and the mortal wounds that that would be is three because it's weakened the way before but doesn't that stop you rolling to wound what do you mean because usually when it changes to mortal wounds it stops all other resolve oh yeah it usually does but it does say in addition to any damage this attack inflicts so no not in this case okay so that's 14 so that's two crafting dunders dead and one on one did you have saves or anything for the mortal wounds or have you not uh, done that yet? Don't have saves for mortal wounds because oh wait, my tree revenants there. Everything within eight inch of my guy takes four mortal wounds, basically. Okay, so that's all the hunters dead. Okay. Is that a full unit? Do I put a blood type? Yeah. There? And four on the revenants, they have two each, so that's two of the revenants dead. Okay. Revenants are still standing. Yep. The house is making the video look really annoying in this little account. Let's <laughs> just change angle. Yeah. Um, right, okay, mate. Do you have any other so that was your charge and movement? New yep, round, so is that it? That is the new round, yes. What see who goes first? Oh four. four. All right, rerolls. Go one. one, two. Hey, I get to go first for once. Best, best for first time. Yeah. Right. So, K 
Can he see the blood first? I can see the wing. Does that count? <laughs> Anyone can see that blood first. He's huge. What? Even the uh, the branch the witch. witch. I can only see the wing. Yeah, you can see him. You can see. Him. Okay. True line of sight. So if you see part of him, you're gonna be able to cast on it. Uh, I love yeah. how you can get right down on the models like that. That's amazing. Right. Okay. So da -da -da. obviously I go first, so I get two command points this time. Which is so three. pretty. What you gonna do to me? I'm just gonna check the range. I have a range of sixteen. Yeah, it's well in. <laughs> right. Which spell am I gonna use? He was happy then i'll literally be 15 seconds i'm gonna get some water if you want to shit talk me now's the time be right back Hey, right, uh, do you know uh, the Arcane Bolt spell? Do you have the rule book? No, but I know it's a popular one, so I'm guessing that Google will come up with something on it. Okay, because I, I, I'm trying to work out whether I want to unleash sprites or use the Arcane Bolt. Arcane Bolt, Sigma. I think it's kind of generic, the Arcane Bolt. If I'm like, oh, I've got it here. Look, casting value of 5, range of 12. Right there. Yeah, plus six for my stat thing. Um, so, range of eighteen for me. Such as casting bloody cookies. Whoever accepts cookies, I always reject them. <laughs> me just out of spite. I go through the fucking whole thing, do. Oh uh, no, uh, I've got a I've got a blocker block. on my. I've got that as well. Thing that will automatically reject all cookies. Weird though. You lost some of yours. Casting value of five, range of twelve inch. If successfully cast, you could pick one enemy unit. Suffers one mortal wound. If it's within three inch, it suffers D three mortal wounds instead of one. So you're just gonna do one mortal wound. Um, yeah. Uh, roll one number equal to casting roll for each enemy unit within nine. Okay, so I'm gonna do the unleash sprites. Uh, casting value of five is special cast. Roll a number of dice equal to the casting roll okay. for each enemy unit within nine inches. Uh, for each six, that enemy unit suffers one mortal wound. I don't have any units for nine inches, so it doesn't work. No, but I get the plus six for the <laughs> item I gave him. Right. Or does that not count on that? In that case, I'll just do the arcane bolt for one mortal wound. <laughs> yeah, well, probably, if you've got an extra six inch on your spells, I'm sure that counts. Just go for it. Nah, we'll just do the I arcane bolt. I want to see bolt. the droids. Okay, what was the cast it's... value of Arcane Bolt? It was five, wasn't it? Yeah, I blasted through that. <laughs> All right, then. Um, I've so hit it's... your bloodthirster with an Arcane Bolt. One mortal wood, so I think that's one ward wood. save. Uh, five plus. Didn't make it. And then on a five plus on a dice, I negate. Made that, so it didn't do it. Mm, mm. Right. We had yeah, a conversation probably... about that. It's, uh, it's a weird one, that one, with the gear that we've Yeah. Got. Dan's got the same thing on his HQ as well. Weird. Seem to be negating a lot of stuff. We don't know if we're doing that. Right. Definitely uh, write that down. Blah, blah, blah. After Morris moves, when this Morris set up the player can set up and move with it. But when can I move the glaive worm? Is it in the movement phase? Yes. Okay. So it's in the movement phase that I move the glaive worm. Right. In that case, that's my command phase over, and it's movement. Okie dokie. I'm gonna move my glaive worm one inch to the left. <laughs> Good job. Right. So <laughs> now it procs two of its abilities. I guess he's two now. Yeah, because he, he's within one inch of an enemy and he's also uh, close enough within six inches of an injured Sylvanus unit. Sylvanus yeah. unit. Oh. Sylvanus unit. Okay, so I get to roll. How does healing wounds work? Does it give me a model back if I roll more wounds than I've lost? If the model is dead, um, I would say okay. no. In but, that case, there's no point doing that because they're all. At but there are points. units that can bring models back to life as well. It returns. Yeah, this I think one is Rally Command does it as well, but I don't know. So, so it's the just way we've been doing it with the boys, if if a model's gone and it's been removed from play, it doesn't come back. But like, for example, okay. if I healed this guy or you healed like uh, that makes sense because I actually do have a spell that will bring people back from dead. All oh, right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the Glade one. 
Okay, so you're within one inch of it, so on a three plus, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. You okay. I rolled a six. Three, three wounds to save. So, at a one no, of... No, that was on a three plus, now I've got to roll the D3. Alright. One wound to save. Only one? Yeah. So, um, board save didn't proc. The armor thing did, I save that one as well. So. Okay. So that's the end of... No, sorry, that was just my move. That was the beginning of my movement phase. Uh, my arch revenant is actually going to charge, so he'll wait to the charge phase. Uh, These things are really right. strong, the Kurinov Hunters. But... Yeah, no, they are, but they, they just got absolutely wrecked. But the Kurinov Hunters archers are going to shoot now because charge phase happens after shooting. Yeah, these are strong I'm, as well. I'm just getting my uh, my my war scroll up on the app. The break bows, blah blah. Down on these models here. So attacks three. two, three for the first one. So two, four, six, seven. Get in the. Oh, that was a terrible roll. Terrible roll. We got all the doors in the houses, like you said. How's that roll going? Terribly. Yeah. Okay, so I got two wounds at minus one rend. Um, so that's my saves at five. Save at five up. Didn't make those. Uh, don't get a ward save on that. Do get the armor off. It's no game. Oh, two wounds, mate. So four wounds in total because they're damaged too. Oh, oh, he's going. He's going, mate. He's fading. Not four wounds now. Strong, isn't he? You like him? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's taken. Well, he wiped out my entire regiment in one charge. Yeah, yeah. Wait till I resummon him with my blood tie point. Wait, uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, uh, so the Arch Revenant is. That's all my shooting. Arch Revenant is charging. Okay. Yes, I know you're going to try and bring him back. So I rolled a six, but he, he, run, he runs 12. He walks 12, so that's enough in it. Yeah, easy. Do you want to measure it? Show, no, you, it's show Rich how to measure. All right, so it's got built-in ruler here, Rich. Watching. It's just distances. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's in range, don't Wow. Put him back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Are we going to show him a table flip at the end? Yeah, we'll show him a table flip at the end. He's going to so. love this. If, if like, we manage to send it and we get the file size. Might have to render it really low. I'll put it on YouTube. Private video. All right, anyway. So, melee. Melee range, yeah. Doing yeah. it. So, I've got two two types of weapon to attack with on the Revenant first. Well, let's give a shout out to the other boys in case they stumble on it as well. Luke, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Luke, Steve, and Steve. Hello, everybody. Hello, <laughs> hello. Right, so uh, three hit. Three up to hit, three up to wound. All hit. Three wounds. Three wounds. On Bloodfester. On Bloodfester. Minus two rend. Two rend. Um, so that takes the saves up to six. Okay. Made one. So down to two. No ward save for that. It's just the uh, armor reroll. Five, five ups. Oh, they went through. Okay, they're all one damage. Oh, look at him, I guess. Yeah, two, and two wounds. My next is my tail pincher. It's a different uh, weapon. But apparently he's got a mount, but there's no mount on the model. But... Oh, yeah? Tail pincher. <laughs> yeah, so it does D3 attacks. So I'm rolling so D3 what's, first. What's, what's hitting him right here? Is it these things here? No, it's the Revenant. Oh, your the HQ, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're a big boy, you're leader. Yeah. So... Uh... He, he does D3 attack, so I rolled a 2, so he does 1 attack. Please don't uh, kill me, I want to hit back. <laughs> it's 4 up to hit. Is, there's a lot hit. riding on this. If, if you kill him here, he's not going to hit back, and that's going to be putting the uh, game in your favour. 3 up to wound. Oh. Wounded. Oh. No rend. No rend, so I'm saving it for how many? 1? <laughs> Just 1. It does 2 damage. I saved that one. No! It would have killed him. It would have if it had got through my... Thing and my thing, yeah. Uh, so 
So they're not invincible, are they? You see you're fucking Shrek in the sky. You got your archers to shoot yet as well, haven't you? No, yeah. they've already shot. Oh, they shot. So they it's did just, the, yeah, it's they just the revenants, the, yeah. the, the, the squad of three there to attack now. Oh. And then you get to fight back. Or do you want to fight back before? It, I'm not 100% sure how uh, it works. We have to resolve the charges, I think, and then he gets to fight yeah. one unit back as our house rule right now. But if we're doing that right or not, I don't know. We could change that later. But if he dies before that happens, shit. <laughs> yeah, it works in both of our favour, that. I don't know why not. Right. Okay. So the revenants. There's three of them left. That's two, four, six. That's seven attack. Seven. Not like this. These these are actually a strong unit as well. Sorry, I'm not rolling yet. I'm just trying to get. Them are they a strong board. unit? Or are they, were they like your battle line? They're battle line. Okay. So they gotta get quite lucky, I would say here. They might. Uh, they've got a minus one rend on them. Oh, have they as well? Okay. Yeah. Could go through. So to hit. Oh my god, my roll was absolutely disgusting. But I mean, I didn't hit a single thing. All right, saves me. Everything's a one and a two. What the? Saves me some panic. <laughs> you get to hit back. All right, I'm gonna hit back your HQ. Yep, he's in um defense stance, by the way. Yeah, I bet he is. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, otherwise I'd have got extra attacks to roll. Oh yeah, that might have been an idea. <laughs> you might have got him with that. Right. Um, so we're looking at um, that, but you'd be glad to know that his outrage. Did you apply the outrage carnage to all the other wounds as well? By the way, uh, like everyone took three wounds within an eight. Yes, radius. yes, everyone within eight inches oh, took three wounds. So now that because he's so weak, that's down to one. By the way, if that procs, you'll be glad to know. And he's only down to three attacks instead of five now as well. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> Dan's happy. All right, so um, these three attacks at four up. I got one through. Who's he attacking, sorry? Yeah, HQ. So it's a wound at 2+. plus. Uh, the one that went through was a 6, so it, does, it did proc Outrageous Carnage there. Uh, so one mortal wound um, to everything within 8 inch of the uh, Blood Thester, 8 inch radius. Okay, so the Revenant has a 4 plus ward save, so he'll do that first. Yeah, let's do the Outrageous Carnage first. He saved it. Saved it on his ward, did he? Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, just do the normal damage. Oh, no, you do the other stuff if there's anything else. And how many? It was just one, wasn't it? One damage? One. On yeah, because Okay, so one tree revenant is down to one out of two. All right, but. Wait, one out of two? Am I wrong there? I feel like I'm wrong there. How many health do they have? Oh, no, they have one wound. Had two then. Something had two. Oh, bollocks. What are you doing? I think I might have cheated. Don't worry, it's not, in it's not cheating if it's not intentional. Go on. All right, okay, so so we'll call that one dead, and I think I might have actually lost my whole Tree Reverend unit last battle round. No, that's all right, mate. Why, I, what thought they had two, I thought they had two wounds oh, each. Oh, they got one? one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'm, I'm pretty sure I fucked up this match as well. I think I mismeasured earlier or something. Also, it's fine. So they're all dead, are they? Uh well what technically I don't know if they are or not because two died at two so yeah no I'd say they'd all be dead now I'll put but they would have time. yeah all right should we do the damage on your HQ or are you still doing the outrageous yeah. that's that's all the outrageous done so. did you do the outrageous to HQ as well yeah he saved it with his uh, oh yeah he did yeah save. so to wound two plus did that rend minus two on your HQ. Rend minus two on my HQ. My save is four plus, so I need sixes. And how many? Uh, it was just one. Oh, just one. He failed the sixes, but now he gets five for his special armor. And he failed that as well. And it's so D3, D3 plus three damage. Okay. Let's roll with D3. You want me to do it? Yeah. Uh, four damage. Four damage. Fucking weird how those saves work. <laughs> oh shit, what did you just do? I didn't do anything. What happened there? What happened? Like my game's gone weird, it's like green grass and shit. Wait. Oh, you've changed, the board's been changed. I didn't press anything. Fuck. Did I press undo? Yeah. That does anything. 
Uh, it's doing something. Big. Oh. Uh, it's fine. It's only the grass. Everything else is still in the same position, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I might have clicked something. I, I was I was changing the numbers on the. the it's buried hits. some of the models. That's all. Yeah. Where where is my revenant? There he is. <laughs> They're buried. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a grass map. Where, where's my where's my branch switch gone? <laughs> there she is. Are the grid markers on? Yes, I had them on so we could see the deployment zone. But I can turn them off if you want. Yeah, let's take them off. I wonder if we can just delete the grass. It looks like the grass is higher up. Oh, if I should leave it alone. Try and delete it. We can undo our... Hold up. Wait. Delete. Um... I mean, I like that better than the grass. What if... Let's have a look at the... Which, <laughs> we're going to break something, play? but let's do it. I don't know. We were, we were playing the, the plaza, weren't we? You can so click it again. What if I press place again? Well, what about recalling it and then placing it? Oh, yeah, that would work as well. But you click place now. Yeah, that's fine. Recall. Place. All right. Where's the table gone? I don't know. The, the board. Maybe I deleted the other thing when I deleted the grasses. You must have. Okay, it's fine. There's <laughs> we'll play on a black table. It's uh just give everybody that ever plays this anxiety yeah. that they're gonna break something yeah. when they're don't, don't worry. Uh if, if you don't have Brian playing against you, these aren't usually issues we have. Hey, it was you. I actually like this. Like it's like a black void, isn't it? We've created a black void underneath. Uh, I I don't like it. It doesn't look pretty. <laughs> Where's the base gone? Unless the base is fallen underneath. I'll look for it. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, let's just carry on, shall we? First. Yeah, let's just carry on. Okay, so I've taken my wounds. Uh, that's the end of my go. So it is your go. I like how the street light reflects off the board as well. My go, I like here how it reflects face. off the models. All right, turn two. Me. Have you checked out my glade worm with the light behind it? I don't leave it only on turn two, mate, after all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your glade worm looks all that shit. I it's can't believe all your like armies a... hiding like yeah. cowards by your blood ore. <laughs> Turn one, dude. They're literally <laughs> cowards. Oh, priests have disappeared. Uh, they're probably underneath the table. Damn it! Kind of, kind of hover. Well, uh, they're, no, they're here. They're here. There oh, you yeah. go. <laughs> we summon them. Drag, drag a square over where roughly where they were. You'll find them highlighted. Yeah, there's some other units under. <laughs> You raise me up so I can climb a mountain. Right, anyway. Um, yeah. Next oh. time I think I should... It's, I've got constant loading on the top as well. I think maybe I should post next time. Blood, oil. Blood. They're out of range. Um, blood sacrifice has got a range of... Blood sacrifice on Sigma. It's a value. I find if you put like answer value in it, like knows what you're looking for. Oh shit. Uh, uh, I got all the bloody advanced value on that is. I think I said six. Write these things down. Thing is, my app's broken. That's not it. Blood. Nice. I'll edit this bit. Sacrifice. No, this, this, just leave it in. It is quite funny. <laughs> Blood sacrifice. Sacrifice. Um. Tell me what page it's on. Actually, my tone, that's right. I've ordered my new tone, that's fine. I'm going to use the updated rules, but... Sorry. Six. Blood sacrifice as a... Fuck it. Four plus. Eight inch, yeah, so they can't cast it on each other like psychopaths. Yes, cast it on each other. Kill my own priests. Yes. This is the way. 
No, you know. Alright, so he's going to cast it on him. Two, three wounds. It's a value of four. I think it's going to be. Alright. And it's a value of four. Dice for that. Two. Made it. Five. And uh, D3 wounds. Three wounds <laughs> to this priest here. How many has he got left? Three left. Three left. Kill him! And I'm going to do the same to this guy. Once the value of four. Made it. Did D3 wounds to the other guy. One wound. <laughs> this is trippy. Okay, well, that's another plus two blood types that I get there. Puts me on seven. All right. Now um, that puts me in the movement phase. Please get five inch movement. Run up. Five five inch movement. Five inch the line there. So I can just put that. I don't need line. Whoa. And a bar on the right then. Okay. Alright. Do I want to run them? Or do I want to command charge? unleash hell. Mm -hmm. You want to try a charge, don't you? You want to try a charge, I know you do. 2d6 where there's nothing in 12 inch range, yeah, sure. Yeah, you want to try a charge? Oh, I'm gonna run them. Um, d6. <laughs> three. Three inch. You know what else is three inch? Yeah, base of your thingy model. <laughs> my my glaive work. <laughs> my, my, my model is three inches. Give it on. <laughs> Could be um and they don't want my priests hurting themselves anyway. Right. And I run these guys as well. I'm gonna do their run first so um they get to a four extra so it's five plus four nine Behind it. Yep. Uh. Whoops. Yeah. 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 I don't think your your your, uh, <laughs> your scenery is allowed to move. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. <laughs> that scenery. If I fail my cast rolls, it lets me re-roll them. Um, but if I fail them twice, it does d6 damage to my. Did I take bonus flesh? I don't think I did. You did not. No, I took the heal. Three heal. They're probably going to have to give themselves after they keep hurting each other. Um, more movement. Uh, no, it's over to Bloodthirster. He's in combat with your HQ, isn't he? Yep, because the worms are spam. Hey. Might be with some good ideas how to paint mine, actually. Cool. Right, uh, so we're going to go straight into attacks, which is down to three. On your HQ. Ah! <laughs> uh, so to hit is. Uh, yeah, I'll put mine. It is four plus. We hit with two. The wound. Um, they're both sixes, dude. Two outrageous carnishes, you can be dealing with that one wound to every I mean, eight inches. One mortal wound, so you can be doing your saves and stuff. For okay, so I can I can ward save those two, can't I? If you think gets a ward save, yeah. Yes, the armor thing, if not, plus. as well. He saved one, failed one, but he gets the armor thing on top. Yeah. Saved both. Makes him very tanky. Um, so, um, to wound at two plus. Two plus the wound. Yeah, I made that. 
So that's okay. two to save done at minus one ren. Uh, sorry, minus, minus two ren. Minus two ren, so I need sixes. Didn't save either of them, but then I get my armor. Fives. Saved one, took one wound. So the one that you took is d3 plus three. I'm dead then. Okay. <laughs> Hope we're doing that right. Probably not, but we're new to this. That's another blood type. Now, it's going down soon, this blood test, though, I tell you. And if it makes you feel any better, he had that leave none alive, so he'd have been able to do all those attacks again if he had not survived. But he doesn't get to that now, so. Very strong unit. Um, no more combat phase from me. Um, over to you, mate. Right, You're here so, in. yep. I'm going to cast. Wait. Isn't it roll? I went first. It's roll. Roll to see you guys. Um, because that's turn two over. We're on turn three now, so it's roll. Okay. I rolled a six. Roll the two. You're in first. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna first things first. Uh, what is that spell I took on that guy? Two Where more tithes, it? and I can summon a blood fester. By the way. I've got that going for me. Mm, jolly good, jolly good. So the dwellers below cast value of seven inches. Six cast pick one enemy unit within ten inches. Sixteen because of the bonus I have. Uh, roll a number of dice equal to 13. the number of models in that unit. For each six, there's one mortal wound. So, are your blood thirsters within sixteen of my your blood blood letters, whatever they are? <laughs> your corny people are they within sixteen? No, they are not. Blood Warriors, yeah. these ones. Yeah, Blood Warriors. Uh, they're one inch out. <laughs> oh, dice. Okay. <laughs> so in that case, oh, I'm not going to cast that. I'm going to cast an Awakened Wildwood okay. instead. Okay. Now, let me remember what, what's the cast value on this. So Verdant Blessing, uh, cast value of six up to 24 inches from the caster. I really should summon up my endless spell, but I never have done that. Collecting Blood Types this round. I've never so tried playing this way before. I've passed. Well, how far away from enemy units do I have to put it? Da -da -da. Set up one and working on a total within 24 inches of caster and more than one inches from any other model. Okay. Here. Got the Awaken Wildwood. Yes. It will do damage to you in a minute uh, when you walk past it. Oh. Right, so that's the end of my hero phase. So movement phase. I will move my glade worm. One inch to the left. <laughs> so so now it procs its damage <laughs> on you again. Uh, death from below, but on a three plus, you suffer d3 mortal wounds. Okay, so I rolled a one, so he doesn't get it. It's not Bloody a good time. Useless worm. It was like this in the last match, yeah. It just keeps Played rolling one. ones. I think all he the got time. one good kill, and that was it last match. Okay, uh, that's the end of my hero phase, that's the end of my movement phase. Shooting, shooting. So, da, da, da. again on your blood for. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four plus to hit. Oh, I did terrible. Three plus to wound. Oh, two wounds, both sixes. Okay. Minus one rend. Minus one rend. So I've got four armor. Yeah. So five. Five's on the angel. Saved one. The other one I get the armor thing for. Yeah. Didn't save that one. So he's oh, down to two one. damage. Oh, just two damage. He's dead. You killed the yeah. blood first. So congratulations. Congratulations. Get out of here, you scum. 
You've already taken up my entire army. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm well, I've got left is a mage, an endless extra, spell, and three archers. An extra blood type for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to really upset you when I raise some of that fucking thing. <laughs> Alright, go. Oh, the good news is, when I summon the other one, he won't have the leaving on of life ability, it was just that one. Will be a week of blood. Well, Assu assume, assuming I get to, uh, to summon him. I need one more blood type. Um, so that's hero face for me, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to remember where the damage from the wildwood rule is. Because I can't remember what they are. Oh, yeah, it was something like if it's only one inch, two inches, or two, like one. Yeah, they do some damage, but I can't remember what the damage is. Oh, wait, it'll be on the card, won't it? I'm gonna get oh, my... here we go. Yeah, overgrown wilderness. Model is not resilient. Yeah, I'm gonna do some of my casting while you... Yeah, you do that. Got an answer value of 4 plus. Made it. Doing D3 wounds. I can't believe I've got my priest hitting each other. I'm gonna do D3 wounds. <laughs> Based on 2 wounds. No, 3 wounds there. Oh shit. Down to 2 now. Yeah, that's right. Two. Now I have 10 blood types. That's my hero face. Over. Which puts me into the movement face. Do you want to do something with your wood thing, or is that not yet? No, let's say it's, oh, it's over one inch away from you, because it has to be put up one inch away from you. Well, my hero face isn't over, I get another cast. Because there's only one guy doing that. Um, in true style, I'm going to get my Slaughter Priest to cast on my other Slaughter Priest again. We're going to because up to 11 blood types of this works. 4 plus casting value. Made it. Good. He hasn't killed himself yet. And um, D3 wounds from him. This could kill him. No, it didn't. It did too. Down to one wound. I I've just got two priests like doing some weird sacrifice. <laughs> it, Yeah. Kinda got these blood warriors to do this too, but they can literally just cast it on each other as long as they don't screw up. Very possible. I was playing a game against my cousin and my priest killed himself. <laughs> the D six damage and he rolled a six to himself. It's like brutal. Do that. Do rare, that. rare rare occurrence, but when it happens, I screwed. It's a bit of a roll of the dice for Um so that does put me up to eleven blood types. Movement phase. Run. Five plus two. I'd need. I need two sixes to get up there. It's my chance. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run them. Of all my d six and get a bit of run. Oh, I got six. Who else? Eleven. Yeah, there where your mouse is. Okay, and well, it's not three, eight, la 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 la. Stay the fuck away from that tree because I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I believe he deleted all the grass, Dan. Found a bit. Ah. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just seeing if you're close enough to the tree. So, um,. My movement phase is when I use my blood types, which I'm now going to do. I'm going to summon up the blood thester for 8. Why is it? But where does it get summoned? Far away, don't worry. This is where if it was like a scenario or a turn limit, that's where like corn would fail a little. We need to start yeah. doing scenarios because it's a bit OP to play. 
think it's a bit eight inch away. George, oh. I don't want to blow fast dropping on your face. Um, unit you summon. Blood ties point. Must be set up within 12 inch of a corn hero or a skull altar, so he's way down there where the priests are. Yeah, they didn't kill themselves. Well, mind you, this 12 inch and more than 9 inch away from any enemy units. Oh. Sorry. There he is. Does your weirwood cast as a unit? Uh, it's a terrain piece. And leave me with one blood type point. It's 10 to the other. Well, so it used to be 8, but they've nerfed it a bit. Good. And I've got one blood type left. And that is my movement phase over. There's no combat to do. Your turn. Awesome. So, uh, opening move, my branch witch is going to cast or attempt to cast and fail, like always. <laughs> uh, the dwellers below. Sure. Casting value of seven. Uh, roll number dice equal to the number of models in that unit. Okay, so casting value of seven. I'm casting it on your uh, blood liver warriors. Blood warriors, yeah. I think a seven is really 50 50. Six, so I failed to cast. I'm gonna. Sp okay, do I get to spend a command point and retry? <laughs> Let's have a look. Fizzled. Hero will have it for you. There's the. No, so I failed to cast it. <laughs> so, movement. I'm gonna move my glade worm to here. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me measure. Is a rate troll this glade worm? I can't actually hurt this unit, guys. It's a spell that I need to dispel with my priests, and they're too they're too busy like killing themselves over. <laughs> so both of those units are. Oh, let me turn him slight. The way to play, rather than like blasting the uh, d6 damages. Both of him. Both of the units are one in. Priests. Yeah. So death from below, I get to roll one dice for each unit within one inch on a three plus. You suffer D3 more wounds, so I get to roll two dice. A unit, right? Yeah, so that's Pretty two. Hard. Good. And then a D3 on each. Uh, one unit takes one, one unit takes uh, two. Wait, right, so uh, one do you want to take two? I don't mind. Uh, well, back one takes two, front one takes one. Because okay. that's what I had in my head when I did it. Look at that. <laughs> One hit point left in the back units of the model. Okay. Cool. Uh, do I want to do any other moving? What did he do no. there, by the way? Did he just fart on them or something? Yeah, no, he breaks up from the ground underneath them. Oh, all right. Yeah. And, like, sort of goes, Wow, I'm here. Look at my ugly face. Yeah. Pretty much. Right, what am I doing? Uh, do I want to... Do I want to shoot or do I want to charge? That is the real question. I mean, they've got bows, right? Yeah, yeah. And the bows do have minus one rend, but they get a lot more attacks if they charge. They get hit back if they charge. They have five wounds each. 15 wounds total, but 20 wounds yeah. total. But they get three attacks each if they attack. And it's easier to hit and it's easier to wound. Your call. But it's only damage one, and the bows are damage two, and have a rend. Let's go for the bows. The bows sound like the option, man. Yeah. If you can move as well, maybe move away. Um, probably be in charge. Well, don't forget, I know the board to disappear, but the back line is actually pretty much where the back of this building is, uh, so I'll yeah. be off the table if I moved any further back. All right, I will, I will roll to shoot. Okay, so I hit one, two, three, four, five. Roll to wound. Got to boost these. I've got a really good save. Okay, so that's three wounds. 
at minus one rend. Minus one. So that puts their saves up to four because it's probably three. three. Three dice at four plus. You know what? I'm going to send this to Rob as well just so he knows what we're doing. Yeah. I say minus one, did you say? Yep. Saved them all. Fine. Saved them all. I knew I should have charged. <laughs> Uh, Units need to be triple the size. Well, I have an ability when I'm in melee as well with them called Trample Underfoot. At the end of the combat phase, you pick one enemy unit within one inch. Roll one dice for each model oh, in this the unit. Oh, units. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you take a mo for a four plus. You take one mortal wound. Yeah. I should have charged them. All right. It's uh. That's the end of my go. Okay, it's a hero thing. Yes. We roll, right? Uh, was it to roll? Yes, it was to roll, because you won the loss. You got one. I got two! Way. <laughs> oh, massively high rolls there. Oh, check us out, Dan. <laughs> right, so let's try and cast this thing with the mage again. <laughs> the block. Uh, value of seven... Five. <laughs> Why do I even bring Broch witches? <laughs> you just need multiple of them, that's all. <laughs> like five of them. <laughs> move! I'm going to move the grenade worm half a centimetre to the right. <laughs> so he can roll two dice. And he rolled a double one, so he does nothing. Uh, I'm going to... Move, stroke, charge. In fact, I'm going to skip the shooting phase. Does he disappear on a double one because he's really sent over? I don't think so. It okay. doesn't say anything like that, but I don't, so... I don't have the rule book. So. <laughs> Some of mine do things like that. No, it's all right. Yeah, no. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to charge. Okay. I'm going to charge my archers into melee. My painting's better than this. My painting looks better than what we've done. Whoa! Big. Rawr. Giant trees with bows, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame it's not the ones that were wrecking your bloodthirst earlier. So, attacking... They really hurt my bloodthirst without that. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Jesus. One, two, three. So that's nine. Oh, look at these units. On the camera onto these ones that nearly fucking... Well, they half, they half helped him, didn't they? And won it. And for the point cost, yeah. I think they were like, like really valuable. What were these? Like 200? My blood uh, 250, I think they are. 250. Yeah. Okay, so three attacks, three to hit, three to wound. Oh, it's looking good. One are evil. Evil. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, five. Sorry, not six. Any rend? Five. Uh, is there rend on this? No rend. Three ups to say. Uh, one went through. Okay, one wound. Okay, model dead. Guys. You get to fight back. Okay. Uh, better attacks out. Okay. Please get um three attacks each. Three ups to hit. So, uh, how many models? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine models with three attacks each. Nine times three, eight to twenty-seven. Okay, and we're hitting on a three up. If you look over here, you can delete anything. Like, so if we delete all the. Wait, it doesn't let me do the Two's ones. Two's and ones so... on the red buttons up here. You want me to delete the ones? Yeah, it does. Right up here. I ain't got a delete button next to the... oh, I'm confused. Well, they, they've gone anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. So... 
All right. And then delete the twos. Oh, the twos? Twos are right here. Deleting it. I'm, I'm not going to mess with this because I've fucked up. But usually. Well, the, bu the buttons are there for me, so I'll delete them for you. Go on then. There you go. Really messing things. Uh, Is yeah. your computer still overheating? No, it's. I think it's what we deleted earlier. Um, well, no, because it's all still visible for me. Oops, we've got 16 anyway. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. They're just not aligned, I think, is all. Um, three ups. Sorry, I'm not very good when there's multiple things going on. We've got 16 at three ups, so to wound is at um, four ups, sorry. Can we to delete for you? No, I got him now. I see him now. Sorry. Okay. I just deleted the four ups. Four. You can undo. I press fuck. You can undo. With what? Uh, you right click undo. Or you click the last roll button. I'm get. I'm gonna have like paranoia about using this feature ever again. I'm just gonna fucking and do the. There's mask a last like roll button. Can you see that on the on the left for you? Just click that, and it'll redo the last. roll. It will show you. Your it's last saying roll. no last rolls. Oh. Okay, that's what you get for trying to be cool. Anyway, eight. Let's just go with eight. It's okay, so eight wounds. Any rend? Minus one rend. It's kind of ridiculous for the point. Okay, so I have four plus save on eight. One, two, three, four. Yep. yep. Uh, right, so I saved one, two, three, four, five. And I take three damage. Okay. So I'll just put all the damage on this one. Alrighty then. That was my that was my attacking battle. Your, um... Okay, so I get an ability now at the end of combat called Trample. Oh yeah, the Trample. So how many models have you got left in this unit? I remember quite close to each other. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Eight of them. That looks like 10, though. Why? Because there's two in your hand, two at the front here. Why oh, is there two at the front? Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. see these. I didn't see these. So Six, 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My eyes, man. Nine. Yeah, 10. 10. Okay, so I roll one for each of your models. And four plus, they suffer one more away. Alrighty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, okay, I like that. Seven wounds. Yeah. That's two, three, four, five, six. Down to point. That trample's nice. Yeah, in the first instance, charging was probably the great option. Yeah, that was sort of thought of. Almost like their archery, which is really good. It's almost like that's a backup, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you shoot someone till they're close enough to charge, and then you charge them. Mate, these are good unit. The the scythe guys have that trample ability as well. Oh, did you but use you that? Killed, no, you killed them. The the blood first to kill them before they could use it. Oh, fair, fair. My hero. Uh, yes. Take of show going on. Um. All right. Um, I just want to see this slaughter priest kill him. Actually. I think one of them can kill the other one, but I'm not going to have... I'll cast this on. Oh, so he's going to... He's got an answer value of four. Made it. <laughs> and he's doing 1d3 wounds to a guy that's got two hit points. Let's... Two! Oh. He's dead! So he's killed him. I get a blood type point for the spell, and then I get a blood type point for killing him as well, because the unit has died. Even if it's friendly, you get a blood type point. Which is ridiculous. So, it's me on three, little dice. And it's my movement phase now, I believe. Oh. Yes. Um, wait, your witch at the back there, so that you... Yes, but she's been completely useless, let's be honest. Get the best of here real quick. So he's lower move. I oh, know he's back to full now, isn't he? So he gets 12 movement.
then to them it'd be 16 inch so he needs a charge of four well four and a charge 2d6 be able to be in melee with those archers with him yep yep i'm gonna do the charge now all right uh if you've got any other moving you want to do there is yeah but i was wondering if it made a difference like just for the well, sake it, of... it does because he can like body block where people can go and stuff like that all right yeah um so instead i'll just move i'll just move him and then get ready to charge unless you're charging everything in which case we just go straight to the charge phase probably gonna charge everything yeah that awesome you're within one inch of wildwood. Oh, one inch I of wildwood. I am the wildwood. <laughs> <laughs> fucking model yes. so big. Right. Need to read the rules. Um, but I ain't charged yet, so it's always... yeah, yeah, I know. I just wanted to see. Um, three left. He needs his. He needs his uh, sacrifices, mate. Is he up here and start killing shit? Not only that. If this priest dies, unfortunately, I won't be able to summon anything. My tithes, I'd have to use them for this. He's moving five. I'm going to run this priest as well. Six. That didn't roll, did it? I'll take the lower one of the two, because I'm not sure if I take four. Made a noise, but it didn't. Oh, that's cool, Dan. Instead of putting your ruler down, if you double click it, puts a ping for me. Instead of getting you to put my hand there. Yeah, but it disappears quite quickly. For some, yeah. So you got to be fast with it. It's, it's a bit easier to use the hand, I think. Run these horny bastards here as well. Horny bastards. Five, so. of argument let's just um watch face I'm gonna charge the blood warriors first actually yes roll that double one as long as it's not a double one I think that roll each. that double one <laughs> Five. What what did I just say? I said roll the double <laughs> No. Point with you. <sighs> Leave that guy in the wood. Is there still someone like got lost in the wood? Is that him written off now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The wood ate him. Bit of shit. He's literally like bombing the tree. Right, and three's gonna charge now. He actually needs a bigger charge roll. He needs six. That's like fifty five percent chance of success. My maths right. <laughs> Combo bug in there. I got a nine. No, an eight. An eight. That count. Oh. Um. Do I spend a command point? Just oh, for no, the sake of it, I I'm going to spend my remaining blood type um, and summon up. Uh, you know the charge phase is after the move phase. Right, I'll not do that. Then. I'll stay with Connor. <laughs> um, no, I'm only like fifty-fifty. Like. Okay, uh, combat. Yes. Again, with Bloodthester. These are all in range for this if it kills them anyway. Get the uh, Bloodthester up here. I usually make a coffee round about this time, but we we just. Max is. Does he get five? Five d six. All right. So um, to hit is uh, four ups. 
any sixes. Uh, no, that's on one. Oh, we only hit one. Okay, it's wound. It's uh, two up. Made it. It was not an outrage counter draw, it was normal. Well, so, it's not one to save or minus two rend. Minus two rend, which means I need a five up save, I believe. Yeah, that's a pretty good save, three. Yep, five up save. I rolled a one. Which of um D three plus three. Uh roll a D three then. There you go. Two. So five, so that's one dead. Okay, it does not get the level one alive because he's not my general. That was a get to do that again. So it's Blood Warrior straight onto Blood Warrior now. Um, fuck. I don't remember which was which unit. This looks separate. Though. One, two, yes. Seven. You know what? Would you mind if I just did all the Blood Warriors at once because they all get to do it anyway? Or is there something that might happen in between? Uh, there's, there's nothing that will happen in between. But I've just remembered what I forgot to do the entire game. Well. My thorns. Oh yeah, you didn't saw me bite. They're like hurting themselves when they hit you, aren't they? Oh well, we'll, we'll just play without it for now. Yeah. We've played the whole game without it. We might as well carry on. Alright, mate. We got all the Blood Warriors to attack. So how many have we got? Eight, nine. Oh, no, I'll do one of them because you might get to retaliate, right? Well, no, no. I retaliate at the end. After, at the end, okay. Yeah. Is how so, we've been playing it. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, so it might very well kill you here. So 14 times 3 dice to all. 42 dice. 42 dice! It's a big one. Three ups to uh, hit. Um, we got 17 plus 12. 27, 20, 29 hits. 29 hits. Nope. At, um, power up to wound. 12. 12 saves at minus one run, my friend. 12 saves at minus one run, so 12 saves at four. And I got average of six. Da, 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 da. So five wins. So one model dead. Okay. Um, that's my turn. So I get to fight back. Uh, three d six. Got thorns as well. Let's start using. No, no, I've still got my trample to use as well. So, 3d6. Bosh! And that was at threes to hit. I think, yeah, threes to hit. So, three hit. All right. Two wounds. This is on the, the warriors directly in front of my guy, by the way. Okay. Two wounds to save, no rend. Save, no rend. Those are three ups. They made it. Oh no, Ooh. they did not. They did not make it. They rolled a two. Yeah. Um, you said no rend, didn't you? Well, yeah, no rend. They didn't. Yeah, so they they've been hit twice. So dead. that's a model dead. Yeah. What would you like to kill? Pick it up and throw it off the board. I don't mind. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> did that in real life? You'd get crucified, wouldn't you? Can you imagine? <laughs> right. Then I get trample. Put the table down. Do it. No, nah, no, nah, because I get my trample now. Okay. Trample under foot at the beginning of the combat phase, you pick one enemy unit. So, uh, how many models are left in this unit? Um, This one is just like, I'll, I'll separate them for you a little. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six in that one. How many in this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that one. So, obviously, I'm going to do it on the seven. Yeah. Trumpo! And it's three plus. Oh, that's good. That is a good roll. It's a very good roll. 
and it is trample in the foot. So, so, so. Oh, sorry, it's not three plus. It's, it's four plus. Sorry, it's four. Plus. Not as good. <laughs> not as good. Not as good. So it's three, three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. So I don't get a ward safe. So that is another two models dead. You do the honors. I don't this know side, which ones. This side. The Seiko argument. It's him, him at the front there. He's got one yeah. wound. Wow. Chuck, it chuck him over that house. Chuck, chuck this one over the house as well. Wow. Right. And. There is go. it my goal or is it roll? Um. You won the last roll. Okay, and that was the end of your turn, so it's roll. I rolled a one. <laughs> rolled a three. Oh. Damn it, I could have survived if I got to move my clay one. <laughs> so it's me in the hero phase. Will I get my sword priest yes. to kill himself and summon him? <laughs> <laughs> I should cast it on self. It's guaranteed death if it succeeds. And if it fails, it's guaranteed death. Basically dead. Alright. But the ethics of that. <laughs> Are you allowed to cast it on yourself? That, well, that is a good. Just says a friendly unit with an eight inch. Yeah, so I know. You'd assume not. So I'd assume not. Because yeah, a friendly unit with an eight inch requires something to be there with it to be with an eight inch as well. Say so that he's a friendly. No, because he's his own. <laughs> he's a friendly unit with an eight inch. <laughs> he's himself. He's not a friendly unit. Yeah, but you can cast that stuff on yourself. You can, because that leaves on a line. You can cast. I've moved him anyway. <laughs> Gonna run. Now the way the way I read it, if it says on a friendly unit, it doesn't include the guy casting. So if it's leave not alive it's... says on a friendly unit, it can't be cast yeah. on yourself. It um to me like friendly unit is a generic term. Yeah, we can we can definitely query that way it down. Other things like that. It's ambiguous, isn't it? It's not. Because like the like within eight inches imply that you're targeting something as well, so it's like yeah. Cool. Um, we're doing movement face still. Charge with You don't need to charge with anything because they're all already in combat. Oh no, I've declared it now, Dan. You're gonna have to say that I've left combat with all of these, and you're <laughs> gonna get to hit them all. And I'm oh, okay, cool, cool. In that case. <laughs> <laughs> True roll combat. Yeah. Are you piling in, are you? That with that with the um, mm. that's the all right. Um, going with uh, five attacks. I'm starting to remember my stats well. I knew that's a good thing. <laughs> so, uh, there's that pulling out there. I think it's three plus. Alright. You met the bloodthirster then, what do you think? Is he a cocksucker? <laughs> well, I killed one already. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just like, I fucking already killed one, you're making me sick. Or. We hit three. Um, honestly, we're still learning the rules. We're doing a lot of them. Um, but we'll get a query everything. Uh, to wound at two plus. Alright. No, uh, that weird shit going on because I didn't realize two, two saves at minus two rend, mate. Two saves at minus two rend, so five. We just six. Save both on the wound roll. Save both. Okay. Yeah. Right, eight, so over to the warriors. Models move. Five, six, eight, eleven, I feel. Thirty three dice. Oh shit, I summoned some dice off it knocks it.
three attacks, three ups to hit. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Fifteen saves, no. Going for us. Oh. Hey, something done, I'm knackered. <laughs> in, uh, um, four plus four ups, four ups, seven minus one rendant, seven so fours. I'm getting to that. Race to Dan to fight until the last one. So I saved two, so I took five damage. So he's dead. Not him, he's still alive. Leave him alone. <laughs> Wait, <you can't laughs> <go now. laughs> You get away from my Kanafi. Alright, now what are they all looking at? Rare Rich. Want her off the edge? Yep. Lives for next match, you get her for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she's actually got a spell that's finally going to come in useful. <laughs> if I can cast it. Oh, I've seen you try this before, and it failed. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> she runs at you like a suicide bomber, doesn't she? <laughs> no, 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 this one I don't have to run at you, you just have to be within 9 inches, which all your units are. Okay. Right. My go? It's... Oh, yeah. Okay, so my Blanche Witch is going to finally cast if she actually manages to roll more than the two. Can you imagine, guys, if she one-shots everything? It'd be hilarious. <laughs> and it'd just be my one priest down here with his one wound. So all three of those units are within... Two units. Uh, oh, yeah, there's three, yeah, because he's separate. Yeah. Where is it? Where's the spell? I think it's the one that's actually on the bow. Unleash sprites. Uh, every unit within nine inches of the caster, I get to roll a dice for oh, every. Oh, this one. Oh no, I'm gonna ruin this fear as well, am I down? I think my priest can. Okay, well I rolled an eleven to cast it. So you're telling me if I roll a double six, I'll work. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. you have to roll a double six. Guys, if anyone's watching this, I would just say. Dan's been so unlucky on the rolls, and this is like the first time in it, Dan, that you've got like a decent cast roll in like two or three games. First time I've managed to cast a spell. <laughs> if I roll a d6, Dan's just flipping the. I didn't. Okay, ha! we're safe. Awesome. I can cast it. He doesn't right. Unbind. He doesn't unbind. How many models well. have you got in each unit? Um, what total amount of models? Uh, in each unit, I have to keep them units separate. Five in the first unit. Do that. Yeah. Hold on. Not them all at once. Equal comes in. Uh, unleash for as a cast of if so, I roll a number of dice equal to the casting roll for each enemy unit. So I get to roll eleven dice for each enemy unit. Oh shit! Yeah. Eleven <laughs> dice thing coming. I don't know what these eleven dice are going to be. I'll we'll do this five first, yeah. Right. So I've got eleven dice. We'll do the five first. Uh. Good job you split each up, six, it? they suffer one mortal wound. Bad. Bridge 18. Get two. I got four. Oh, so... Have that one. I think he's starting on your witch. <laughs> <laughs> right, then the next unit. That's a good spell, mate. Mate, yeah. why have you not been like fielding three of these branch witches and running at me and like using this on my. I've been using this spell all game. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it, bruv. Right. It's the first time I've succeeded. Eleven as well. It. Okay. I was only right. joking about the one shot thing, but this has ne done really unit. well. You need to be doing this more. What's the range on ne nine inch? Next unit got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yeah. Mm. Six sixes I rolled. Definitely play of the game, is she? <laughs> so how many total wounds? Six. six. More wounds. And then finally you. the bloodthirster. Yep. It's ward saves by one. Uh, only two hit the bloodthirster. Oh, what save those? They're at five ups. He saved one, so he takes away. I don't think the armor thing would apply in the systems. What save on it? Yeah, because it's a spell. Well, I don't know actually, but we don't know like that, that I've lost anyway. Let's be honest. <laughs> what we've done there with our equipment, we really need to look at that because we've made our HQ is fucking. Gnarly as shit. Well, you say that, but mine got deleted. Yeah, but it was a blood first. I guess you could have fielded. Right, so that's my hero phase over. Movement phase, I'm going to move my glade worm right here. The unkillable, annoying glade. And twist him so all three of your units are within one inch of him. Starting on my blood. 
<laughs> He's farting in your general direction. I don't know direction. He's farting in your face. All right, so uh, three plus. So I'm going to roll them individually so we don't get confused. So Bloodthirster first. Failed to hit it. Uh, the unit in the middle hit. Does three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Three, three. And then the last though. unit does three mortal wounds. To um, Bloodfester. No, to the uh, other warrior oh, unit. Oh shit, when you said first unit, I did it to the... Because there's two units there, isn't there? Yeah, but I've... this is the third time we've done Oh, yeah, so there's two units. So there would have been the warriors in the middle and the warriors on the side. But I've done the warriors on the side. Yeah. done this one. We're doing the third one now. It's Bloodfest this time. Okay, but the first one didn't do any wounds. It failed. Yeah, so that's what I've done there. I've not moved, removed anything. So the first okay. one we did that. Okay. This one we did that. Oh, yeah, you can allocate those as you want. Bloodfester or the uh, Blood Warriors. Don't mind. Mm, no, I don't, I don't care. How well, did, was it? Oh, did I roll too many times? Three? No. No, you rolled three times. It's just I was getting confused. Cause I no, I think I was only meant to roll twice because I think it failed on the Bloodthirster. All right. Well, yeah, so that one doesn't count, and what we've done is fine. <laughs> Get your scummy blood there. <laughs> There's lots of room in your arm. <laughs> Throw him off the table. Oh, no, they need to make a dice roller. That's where they belong. Oh. <laughs> what, what did your whale ever do? <laughs> Oh my <laughs> right anyway, <laughs> so that's the worm over. That's my that's my turn over. All right, so it's my um my hero face because we rolled for that, didn't we? Yep. Okay. Tell oh, you worm. Don't forget, you can't see through that wood in front of you. I've got fucking <laughs> line. I've got fucking line sight there, bro. <laughs> No, I can see him over the branch on the right. Look. Kneel down. Come on. No, nothing either side of them, unless they're flying, can see through a wild wood. It's part of the rules of a oh, wild wood. Oh, is it like a one inch round? It or something? Yeah. Oh. I thought you were just trolling. Um, okay. Around the wild wood. Leave him in the wild wood if you want. No, he's running away from the wild wood. I don't want to get lost in. Four inch on it. The right mate, tell me these things. Literally would just auto my way, like in my brain these things. <laughs> like Eric Carter. <laughs> right. Part in your Any other moving? Bear in mind none of these are engaged in combat. Are we saying when your witch is dead I want to the blade worm? I'm going to say the Glade one. <laughs> I mean, it's been absolutely useless this whole game. But... What, what, what if my spellcaster dies? Then my Glade one is amazing. We're not, we're not calling it a draw, mate. You can call it a draw if you want. No, you, you've won. This is just the final stand. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he can... So he, the Bloodfest can charge your witch. And... Yeah. I think I think we could say that about everything can charge my witch apart even if oh, it's I don't not know, actually because I don't look like they're in Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so everything can charge you unless it's a double one. Please made it. Made it. And the other one. This is where she pulls out like a fucking lightsaber or something. <laughs> like Luke Skywalker. Nah, uh, she 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 um she unleashes the sprites again. Hopefully, rolls an eleven again to cast. It. Well, I'm hoping she doesn't make it to a hero face because that was crazy. Why not a twelve? Though? Is that too much? Oh, is that too much display of power? That's too much. That's too much to ask for. <laughs> that's, 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 that's ridiculous. To <laughs> ask you for a double six, you're never gonna get one if you ask for one of them. Ask for an eleven. Yeah. Do the blood first to first. Okay. Um, wounds actually is weaker. No, it's not. One take him down yet. So, um, got da, 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 da. five attacks, five d6. 
if you think on Dan at the end of the video, let's try and show him some of the other maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll recall everything. And though I don't know why the the floor isn't changing. Maybe we reload the table completely. Yeah, once we flip it, we will. Yep. Four ups. Three. Three plus. Three. You know what though? The blood festival wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. And I know he's been strong, like but the first one. Even though oh. he like annihilated it, I thought it was still like He annihilated an entire regiment of dryads in one hit. That's like a hundred points. And then half healthed my two hundred and fifty. Yeah, but they unit. half healthed him back then. Yeah, he's, he's yeah but in, that was all in one turn. Considering <laughs> you could potentially field multiple of those as well. At like three hundred and thirty points. They are pretty strong. Um so I've hit with one of these, I've actually missed with two, but the one that I hit with has caused damage thing, so four mortal wounds off the bat and all So he has one wound damage. left. Okay, you need to save two rend. He does have enough hell uh hit save, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, he's five plus save, he's dead. Ah, uh, he dies. Boom. Right, then. Okay. right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You are uh, such a troll if you're gonna make me save 20 minutes while this thing farts on me, and then you kill my priest so I can't fucking it. Won't, kill it. it won't let me flip. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, it's game over. <laughs> <laughs> That's good sport. You should, you should definitely have done that. There'll be people watching this video thinking, I hope he tries to kill the priest with a worm and say it was a. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm, no, no, you said. Yeah, there will be people wondering well, that, mate. Might right? go, right? Yeah. <laughs> the worm moves. Uh, it will work. I, I'll tell you something, mate. If say, say say if this was worth like you know um say, say if, I'd, it I'd, hits I'd give you something for it is what I'd, I'd give you something for it. it hits it does d three mortal wounds so that's D3 rough. mortal wounds okay it it's, does three wounds priest is dead <laughs> I have no way to kill your glade worm so uh, over time the glade worm here's what happens guys the glade worm comes up here these things can't hit it back so over time technically these things all die. Yeah, by turn 50, it might have killed the blood first. And 50 hours later, the Glade Worm reigns supreme. <laughs> <laughs> the Glade Worm of murder. Actually, you just killed the, 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 the spellcaster that cast dun, it. Would that dun, not dis dun. Dis I have no up? idea. We don't know what we're doing, really. <laughs> oh, he's in the house now. He's moved in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just stick him with the big one. Yeah, he's, he deserves, he he deserves, he deserves the, like, the, big, the big house. I'm not even going to Google, I don't want to know. I, I just, I'm happy in the noise. But Glade Worms. Anyway, guys. Uh, the big house, okay. <laughs> yes. So he's not on the on the, the pretty I floor. Think, Have you looked at the bottom floor of this house? I think it's all about summoning up as many Glade Worms as possible. Getting a couple of those witches out, like not just one, like multiple witches. Decimating my battle line. I think that's what it's. Like. No, it's it's get rid of the um, get rid of the 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 witch altogether. <laughs> you don't like her. <laughs> that, well, I managed to cast one spell now. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was without me even trying to unbind as well. Yeah. Do we yeah. show him some of the terrain? Just to finish. Good game, by the way. I enjoyed that, mate. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, it won't let me flip the table for some reason. Flip at the top. Yeah, it's grayed out for me. Let's me do it. Oh, it's really good. Uh, Rage! Quit! quit. <laughs> GG, mate. Alright, reload the table and then we can show them the scenery. Okay. Games. Workshop. Age of Sigma. If anybody wants this, you just go in the workshop on Steam. Download Age of Sigma. In the workshop. And that's how it loads the table. In your little tutorial, aren't we now? Basically loads up everything that we've got there, so it might be a bit technical. But what you also do is you go in the workshop and pick, pick your faction out that you want, and then it'll save it in objects. So save objects. Look here, I've got my corn faction. These are some rosters that saved as well. You literally just click your again, loading it. Point it in. Now, what I've done is because that's like quite massive, I've saved it separately. These are basically okay, get all your little cards there, you get all your units and that, you can move them around, copy them, you can save them, right click save, say if I wanted to save the blood first and, I don't know, like a bunch of blood warriors, like if this was my roster, grab them all, right click, alright, now it's proven me wrong, it's not, 
some reason, but, but yeah, usually yeah, that's it. Right click, save object, and it'll appear. Okay, it objects here, and you can load it in. That's all it is to it. It's basically it's got its own built dice and roller. I'm just maps. deleting all the uh, start scenery. There must be a faster way to do this. Hopefully, you deleting that part doesn't make it. No, bug I out did again. that last. Time. But it bugged out last time. That was a grass. It needs to go. I think this will be a map that you can alter. Yeah, I've gone through most of the maps. So I can't find that one. I think we call on everything. Didn't we? I'm going to show you that some of these maps are up. Alright, let's go, let's just do them all in order. Look reset. So that's the Chaos Waste one. Basically you click place. Take the grid marker. Yeah. Look at these pretty maps, guys. Okay, so this is, uh, which one? Lost Fortress. I like that one, I haven't seen it. Yeah, that one's actually pretty good. Someone's taking their time on that one. Yeah, yeah. Alright, next one. This is this is the one we just played. We just played so few. Yep. Got twelve of these to get. Yeah, this is the Hill Drives one. Three? Forest ruins. All the same size, aren't they? Yeah, they're all the same size. It's a standard table size. Oh, I like that. Uh, this is something pass. Not bad. It's a bit generic, isn't it? Yeah. Bad. Like the swing. This is the graveyard one. I like that they've even done like a mist thing. Get yeah, right yeah, down, yeah. change that. <laughs> Like to be putting my units inside this so I get rid of it. Right. Divine Sand. Pretty. Uh, Canyon of Loathing. This was the one we wanted to play, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very open. Yeah, right. so I like just anything get that's loaded. got like dynamic lines. I'd love to get some lights. Like God. I told you what you do is you, you when you build your scenery you just build in like you can get LEDs you can get a uh, fire based looking ones so they flicker like their fire but it's just an LED based lights on I'll show you how to do it if you want Play? and we played this one the other day didn't we yeah and Dan got to do something weird with the trees cause... yeah they got to use the trees to his advantage. Give him bonuses. Pretty cool. But yeah, and then there's like alternatives of each, uh, a few of them as well. So this is an alternative of that tree one. So oh, yeah. same, same model, same base, different layout. And there's like alternatives of all of them. Like some of them have three alternatives. We got a little notebook here at the top as well where we can like pulls in fish it. Yeah, there's also uh loose scenery. So I write something in out, here, Duncan. Put out trees and stuff, prickly pears. Rocks. Why is this a rock? It looks like a oh, weird. <laughs> it's okay. like an object. No, it's, it's the loose scenery. You can right. you can pull out scenery from all these bags. Right done. I'm gonna start confusing everybody now. <laughs> Let's just check, take it all out and put it. It's like ruins and shit, you can make your own. Oh wow! Check Whoa, out this one. Let's go. <laughs> all right, how do we get this to stand up? Witcher buildings. What's it? What you done there? What the fuck is that? That's a building. Buildings. 
Oh, if anything's unstable, if you come over to the other side, like if you can't get like this dragon, I can't get to stand up right. You can, you can put it on the stabilizer. We're gonna end the video there, ladies and gents. I've been Brian. Chris, I've been Dan. I, I, I've, I've been uh, the, the trees that died. <laughs> I've been deforestation. <laughs> uh, sure, they're all wearing feet. What the hell is with that building, though? That is huge. Uh, can you imagine? Them. Yeah, but I bet if you zoom in, I bet you there's floors you can fight over and everything. Oh, yeah. There is. Stop throwing it about. Oh, let's get the thing out from underneath it so it actually stands up. Thanks, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Bye.